talk about ice integration. There's our local trust search. We have do search installed and go to system uh, certificates. We we'll also installed a uh, server certificate for the usage. I want to say uh, is it just do not check PS grade. Okay. Here is our installed server certificate for ICE. And it's now to take a look at our domain. In the active domain here, I will go ahead and join a new domain. In the group, uh, I will remove this group, add a few new group. We have group DNA group one and DNA group two. Click OK. Click save. So now let's add our ASA as a network device. Check radius. Scroll down. Check advanced trust sec setting. Check user device ID for trust sec. The most important thing is the pack. Click generate pack. Give a secret key. We want it for one year. Generate a pack. Now remember to submit. Uh, so for now, we just need to add a pack file uh, into the firewall. The pack is just search generates there by Cisco Ice. So now we're going to do, we're going to copy the pack file into ASA's flash driver. Okay, let's open the ASDM and go to tools. We are use file management, file transfer between local PC and flash. Okay, now let's move the pack file. Okay, close, refresh. It's so pack file, close. So now let's log on to ASSA CLI, show flash. Pack files right here. Let's import the C the pack file CTS import pack fresh. It's gonna call ASA net a pack password. I'm not going to show you the password. I'll skip it here. So now you're going to see my pack file imported successfully. So what's going to do is to config AAA server. The next one is AAA server. Ice protocol right here. And I'll say AAA server ice. And GMT port close. Six key. 
see. And here's what you're gonna see, right? Triple A sir, eyes pull call radius, I pull in eyes IP and a key, then exit. In case you did not see it, so show run AAA. So, alright, that's the config to connect ice on radius. And one more uh, CTS server group ice. Now what we can do is to refresh CTS environment data. Okay, it's uh, successful and active because um, you have to do a CTS refresh environment data and show give a show again. That's right. Now we're gonna do to gonna test the user. It's an internal user we just created as user and test our eyes. Authentication successful. Uh, so now we're gonna take a look what 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 are the refreshed data we just got. Show CTS environment data as the table. We've got 17 entries of this uh, SG. You know ICE is managing our labels. Um, if we go to the ICE, we'll show you where is it. Um, we will go trust sec. Now the trusted policy right here, we're seeing the 17 refresh data for the eyes. So the eyes is managing all those uh, labels, STG. So let's go ahead and add one STG that we need to add when 7 SGT tag 1. Use to this icon, submit, go right here, we got uh, SGT ID and the name. Let's create another one, name 7, GT, tag 2, see this ID tag is automatic generated. You can change it. Okay. So if you look at my layer three overlay uh, diagram, you see I have a uh, two VN, see that VN, see that VN two, and in the other VN I have uh, two network, one seventy two sixteen dot one and one seventeen. 16.2. In VNC lab, VN2, we have uh, uh, one network, 172.16.3. Okay, so I'm gonna have uh, three uh, STG, but I have two uh, VN. So now back to our STG, I'll put, uh, create one more tag. Three. What you see here, I have tag one, tag two, tag three. They are for our networks. Now, uh, for better management, I'm gonna create add a tag. Cut DC two seven twelve. Create another one. We. Created for MGMT, MGMT net. In this case, use this icon. Okay. 
So for now, we'll create a five STD. Let's see uh, we can get a form uh, ice to our ASA. All right, let's type CTS refresh from the show CTS environment data SG table. See, we see 22 entries. We are seeing three tag, STG tag, DC2012, management net. A completed mapping between the name and STG tag ID. So what about the IP? So what for now we're going to do is to map the ID with the IP subnets. So what we'll do is uh, to enable Cisco SXP. We'll go to deployment, enable SXP. And now we enable this. And um, by the way, we enable passive ID and in a PS grade also. So click save. It's gonna take a while. So now go back to deployment. We're seeing SXP is actually enabled. So for now we're gonna do some IP SGT static mapping. That's uh, pretty much the static. And go to components, IP SDG stack mapping. So the IP will be our DNS, DHCP server uh, in the ASA DMZ share subnet. We'll make a select a DC, that's right, DC 2012. Um, send to SP domain, default domain, and that will be all trust, all trust, all trust, trust sec device, okay. Okay, the next one will be our management network. MGMT. Be trust. And this is uh, management network. So now we're ready to configure SXP, uh, SXP. But before that, we're gonna do some setting, SXP setting. We're gonna publish for PS grid. Give a global password. Save it. Okay, good. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna send the mapping, and also gonna send PS grade mapping uh, based on the PS grade uh, password. Okay. Um, now we're gonna to add a listener. So that's listener. Which the what's the listener? So AS AS A uh, IP. From my ice to the ASA as a listener. Okay, that's a listener password. Make sure you use V3. So let's take a look again. ASA IP P 
you ASA is the listener, the speaker is our eyes. Okay, send to the default as exit domain. Save. So now I'm ready to uh, put some commands on the ASA as a for uh, peer to the eyes. Okay. Um, CTS SXP enable CTS XFP password. There will be default. And you will see I covered up in my password. That's your CTS XFP default will be your password, okay? And now I'll give a new line. Uh, I'll put a CTS XP connection peer. What's the peer? The peer will be the ICE IP. Okay. Source. What's the source? That's my ASA password. That's for default mode peer. What's the peer of a ice is a speaker instead of listener. The ASA is um, the listener. Okay. Uh, now show CTS XP connection status. CTX has P enabled. It's not running. Okay, let's give a, a try. Show CTS actually P connection. Uh, show actually enabled. Yes, uh, connection status on. That's good. And we want to see SXP SGD map. You see my static mapping from ice. Cool. So um, all but the commands show show you all the commands. SXP that you're gonna put in to get the mapping. Uh, 